Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Brutus Monroe design team layout. So what I am going to play with today is right here on my sticky sheet. It is going to be the wooden forest um, standalone cutting dies, which there is the SKU number if you would like these. I've got some kind of idea on how I'm going to use these in a beach theme, right? And glitter glaze, because it's been like way too long since I played with glitter glaze. So I'm going to use the unicorn horn, which is this one, and the gunmetal, which is this one. I've got a black piece of cardstock, and I have a beach photo of my stepdaughter on a boogie board, and a whole bunch of randomness. I have all the bikinis from the 12 by 12 sticker sheets, I did pull in um, some chipboard with this two little girls on there because, you know, she's like the only little girl. And she's not even a little girl. I've got some sequins. I've got some um, acrylic pieces, some cork arrows, and just a whole bunch of random die cuts. So I am going to get started figuring out what I want to do and try to figure out some way to showcase her in these fabulous die cuts and a glitter glaze. And I will get a little bit done and come back and check in with you guys in just a bit. Okay, so I took the unicorn horn glitter glaze and I applied it, which is kind of a silver with iridescent glitter in it. Look how pretty that is, you can even see that. Onto the black cardstock. And then I took the gun metal on the white cardstock so it's more of a dark you can i don't you can really see i don't know if the camera's picking that up or not but you can really see that so i'm going to die cut the um little words that i am looking for i'm gonna die cut the um wooden forest out of these and i'm gonna kind of create like like it's like the, the boardwalk out of these so that's that's my idea let's see if I can I mean what I've got in my head I don't know if I'm gonna be able to a lot of times right what I have in my head it doesn't turn out but we're gonna go ahead and die cut as many of these out as I can and we will come back and assemble that and see what else we can do so here is the background paper that I'm going to use it's just from my stash. I went ahead and used the standalone wooden forest cutting die um, on all that fabulous, beautiful glitter glazed up paper. Now we need to trim up this little guy. Still trying to learn my new trimmer. <laughs> and it doesn't always quite want to play with me. But that's okay. Learning curve, people. Learning curve. There's my little bitty piece I just shredded off of that. <laughs> that's kind of fun, though. All right, so... We've got the explosion of glitter. And like I said, a kind of trim this down. Try to get that lady out of the back. <laughs> so it doesn't need to be there. So I'm gonna make this into a four by four. And then I'm gonna go ahead and Pop it up on some foam. So listed down below, I will have everything that I use in the video, as always. Um, if you want to use my affiliate link, I would appreciate it. If not, I understand. It doesn't cost you nothing. It just helps to support my channel. And uh, if you want to pick up any of these fabulous Brutus Monroe products, it lets them know that you guys seen it on my channel. So, let's see. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see what we can do. Kind of want to put this here. I was kind of thinking of doing like a kind of creating like a fun little border with all these cute little guys. And then, you know, putting my picture in the middle of it. So, whoa. Just kind of popping them in. Like, remember, I did the unicorn on the black or the unicorn horn, and then I did the gunmetal on the white. Whoa. They're very intricate, very, very pretty. I got like glitter going everywhere. Um, <laughs> glitter glaze does not fall off on the paper normally, but I ran it through, you know, my die cutting machine. So obviously, definitely gonna have some glitter explosion but once I get it all glued down and I stop messing with them like so it's not gonna look crazy glitter fied so that is kind of my idea and then we'll embellish from there so I'm gonna go ahead and off screen I'm gonna glue all this down kind of play with it a little bit and I'll come back and we'll finish the layout so I may have changed my mind a little bit, guys. Um, I started playing with them a little bit more, and I realized they made, even though they're supposed to be trees, they kind of look like coral to me, right? So I figured I would just spread them all out, and I'm going to do kind of a diagonal. Obviously, as you can see, I'm going there with the uh, chipboard and everything, and I am using uh, liquid glue to make sure so on a side note what kind of glue do you guys use liquid wise, liquid glue wise um, I'm trying out a few new brands so we'll see uh, I do want to get a few of these die cuts kind of tucked in and around all of these cute little trees and as I would happen to be calling them um, coral so yeah it's all about looking at something differently right so like I would have never seen coral per se until I started like you know futzing around with it and moving it and then I was like kind of looks like coral on a coral reef and we're in the ocean so it worked and it's all sparkly so that's fun because the glitter glaze is my favorite I'm just gonna pop this little guy up on some foam I am gonna hold it down just a smidge so that it sticks I do have all these cute little swimmer suits so like I said we're just gonna start basically bobbing and weaving right these little guys in and around all these fun different little areas um, yeah so I'm gonna <laughs> kind of spread that swimsuit part out but yeah and then I just tacked it down at like weird wonky odd little angles um, I did kind of intertwine them at the bottom just so they would stick in more of a wreath-like kind of cluster. Let's go ahead and get those on there, those cute little sunglasses. And since, you know, she's young, we're going to put all the bikinis on her layout, right? pop up the bottoms. Let me cut that in a weird angle because these bottoms are going to be cute. 
I know I like these swimsuits. Wish I could find them in real life. So yeah, what do you guys think about the layout today and how I used the tree um, die cuts there as coral? What do you guys think of that? Yay or nay, right? that and I am like I said I'm adding even though it's a sticker I am adding it because it's all the different dimensions we've got going on here with the the glitter glaze and then the die cut let's pop this little guy up too yeah this one has been this has been a fun layout to make sometimes I'm kind of lost and like I don't know what I want to make on any layout not you know the Bruce Monroe but um, anytime I can get some fun glitter glaze on a layout whoa I definitely call that a win we're gonna hold that down just a little bit because it wanted to pop up and use these scissors my wax paper is kind of falling apart there and that that's all right What else do we have? We've got some cute little flippers. Get these stuck down there. Just I like to, you know, add some different dimensions and texture to my pages. Kind of cover up some of that empty space there with the, with the swimsuits creating. And I'm okay that I like cover things up. I'm I really li I like tucking things in different areas. Got to get the SPF bottle in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I don't know if these are going with the moon fill of my layout anymore. Nope. I guess I could have used some kind of chroma mist and colored those, but. I do only have three of these little guys left, so let's just go ahead and get those popped in here somewhere. And we are almost done with today's layout, so do not forget to check out all the fabulous items over on Burgess Monroe. Pick yourself up some of this glitter glaze or this Tree Builders die set. They're having some fabulous breakfast. Black Friday sales right now that they always have fabulous sales so um, they're like the most generous and fabulous company that I've ever had the pleasure of not just you know um, designing for but just in general their customer service it means a lot to me when a company is really thoughtful and anytime I've had, which I've never, actually, I've never really had any issues, but when I've asked and been like, hey, can I? And they're more than accommodating. So I definitely want to uh, give them a shout out. So, and they did, it's, oh, we think it's closed now, but they did just have a design team call. So fingers crossed. And if you applied, I do hope you get it because like I said, the best one of the best companies to work with they are very patient and kind and um, just generous and you know obviously products are amazing so I'm just gonna put some of these sequins that are in my little kit over here as well just to add in a little bit more uh, a little bit sparkle anytime I can add some big sequins in I call that a win. Um, so we're going to get those in, kind of tuck them in and under some things. So yeah, we're going to get these on here. Turn my page so I don't stick my hand in something that shouldn't. Just kind of pop that one under there. Definitely clear one right there oh, there's one right there um just gonna give go over and see what all they've got to offer i know there's gonna be some fabulous sales like every day i'm ever amazed 
Um, and even though it might stay out of stock, it will be in stock shortly. That's the one thing that I've noticed. Um, when things go out of stock, they are really quick to restock products and keep you guys crafting. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just trying to figure out oops, what needs to go where. And like I said, I'm trying to hide some of these bigger sequins in and around all of the fun. They also have the, I don't know if it's still going on now, but they had all their sequin mixes on sale for a dollar and they are like huge bags of sequins. And the mixes are always freaking fabulous. I said freaking just in case anybody. Um, I have seen the people <laughs> off topic, but I was watching a video the other day and some lady dropped the F-bomb and I was like, whoa, <laughs> Ooh, probably shouldn't do that, right? What if a kid's watching? All right. So that is my layout. Swim is obviously the title because she's swimming with her tie-dyed <laughs> boogie board. Yeah, me and my husband bought that, so obviously it was going to be tie-dyed. I am loving the way it looks, but I think one more thing. Let's just go ahead and get some messy lines in here just to finish off the page. I don't do this as much as I used to, but I do find that it does, I guess, help contain the fun that is within, right? Like kind of just like borders it you know and finishes it off I, I, I find that I like either inking the edges um, or just using a dark pen or a colored pen just to give it a mood and feel of a final one more line and that's gonna do it I want to thank you all for watching today head on over to Brutus Monroe use that affiliate link down below if you would like if not, it's okay too. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.